Hi guys, welcome back to the Heart of Ohio Antique Center's YouTube channel. And this is a special day. We got a special occasion uh, and uh, we got a really awesome special guest. So you guys already know Vivlin. Uh, this is Vivlin Knight and uh, Vivlin and I have been lifelong friends, right? Pretty like, much. Almost. I mean, that was like <laughs> six, my, my, my life. My life. <laughs> so I, I, I'm not, yeah, I met Bruce and Vivlin when we were 17. If, if you guys don't know, Vivlin uh, and Bruce, current uh, previous owners of the Heart of Ohio Antique Center. Um, and we invited Vivlin to come out today and talk about uh, their collection that is going to be sold at auction coming up in January. So that's why we're here. It's exciting. It is exciting. <laughs> <laughs> it's um very kind of emotional for me too. <laughs> I'm sure it's, it's going to be. Yeah, it's it's very exciting. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I thank you for inviting me to come back to the heart because you know I love it here. Yeah. And I feel like I'm still well, among friends home. and and home and uh, I I love being here. Yeah. So it's good to be That's back. So special. And, and it's uh, going to be fun to talk about the things that Bruce and I have collected. Yeah. Uh, for so many years and he collected them before I met him. That's so awesome. Yeah. So so if you're not familiar with Bruce and Villa, they, they have collected uh, incredible American and European folk art and country antiques and accessories for years and they are, this is their auction catalog uh, for their collection that's coming up. Uh, it's, it's a really spectacular catalog and Amelia Jeffers is going to be holding the auction on January 5th and 6th at the Garth's Barn uh, and that's, that's uh, well, what is the address? It's in there? Delaware. It's in Ohio. Delaware. All right, here's the address. So it's at 20, 2690 Stratford Road, uh, Delaware, Ohio. If you've not been there and you would like to go, uh, jump on Amelia's website. I'll tell you what that is right up front. AmeliaJeffers.com, the night auction. Uh, here you go. This is how you can jump on there. I'll leave it up for just a second. Um, yeah. And so what we thought would be really interesting, and, uh, and we talked to Amelia as well, and she said, absolutely, let's do this, is to just have a conversation with Vivlin and talk about their collection that's going to be sold. So that's what we're going to do. Um, and it is exciting because I was looking through the catalog last night and I seen pieces in there and I'm like, oh, I remember this piece. I remember this. And even some of the other memories that came through it. But before I talk, let's talk about what your some of your favorite things are in the, in the auction coming up. Oh, wow. There's so many. <laughs> you can't even begin to say. Yeah. <laughs> Bruce and I had so much fun collecting. I mean, we traveled so many different places and found things kind of everywhere. We, most of the things that we kept for ourselves, we, we bought here at home and um, they're just special. Um, I don't know if I can remember exactly where I got, where we got everything, but most things I do. And um, there was always a memory behind it because we bought it off of people that we enjoyed and we made friends with and it's just it was just a wonderful time together my um my very favorite thing is the grandfather clock with the tulip on it oh that's the one that i told you when i was yeah. at your house like this is the piece in the whole house i think it's, it's, it's just the, the best thing the most it, stunning piece to me i love it <laughs> It's right on the inside cover when you open your catalog. So I'll show this no, picture is, first. Oh. oh, is that it? Yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I think that is absolutely stunning. Uh, here's a picture of the clock that Vivlin is referring to. And the picture doesn't really do it justice. When you see it um, in person, it's just outstanding. It has a, a folk art carved tulip for the, the center finial uh, above the broken arch. Um, and it, it's just gorgeous. There's tulips on the door that are inlaid, and the maker of the cabinet also inlaid his initials in yeah. the door. I ask, um, I don't know who that is, but can, can I imagine you, it can be researched. Villa, could you could you tell us? Do you do you remember where it came from? Yeah, um, we had we had uh, visited Dart Hunter in Chillicothe. He was the Adina Adina. Yeah. Mound um, Museum curator, okay. and he was also a collector, and he um, also had this book, this book uh, press, book printer, uh, that was just am an amazing thing, kind of like the Gutenberg Bible mm. press. Wow. He was an amazing guy, but um, he had the clock, and he, we were buying some other things from him, and he did not want to sell the clock. Um, and we, we loved it and Bruce was really after it. We were 
this was really early on when we first, pretty much first got married. Um, and Dard told us the story that when he bought the clock, his brother, Bobby, who was also an antique dealer, yeah. um, wanted the clock and he wouldn't sell it to him and they fell out over it, oh, wow. which is a shame. That's a shame. Uh, that happens uh, sometimes, but it should never happen. Uh, but it did, and uh, anyway, he wouldn't sell the clock. Well, about um, just a few months later, really, he passed, and his son gave us a call and said that he wanted to continue in college, mm -hmm. and he needed money, and would we still want to buy the clock? Oh, wow. And we said, definitely, and we left and went down there right then, and um, I remember carrying it out. I was <laughs> pregnant with Abby, and... <laughs> helping Bruce carry that yeah, out. Pregnant, <laughs> pregnant, carrying a clock right yep. out the door. <laughs> that's so fun. It was. It's a great memory. It but, is. Um, and that's part of why I love it. Yeah. You know, but the piece itself. Yeah. Is it was outstanding. Well, if you remember last year when we were, you know, talking through your house and we were looking at your collection, I, I told you, I said that's my favorite piece. In the, in the entire favorite. house, like the, the patina, yeah. the patina on this clock is uh, is just got the best patina you ever want to find on a clock. Yeah. It's my, original, con original finish and yeah, a, original finish. And my favorite part, I got to point this out to our viewers, right at the top of this clock. You see that flower right up there in the top. Um, I hope I hope you can see that right up here at the very top is the coolest little carved tulip. Um, so so special to me. That that clock is. And I agree with you. I think that's one of the best American clocks uh, in the country. I mean, for for it, it kind of reminds me of for a, a folk, folk art. art. Yes, a folk art clock. Uh huh. It, it because it, of the folk awesome. art feel to it. When you, and when you're in front of that clock, there's there's certain things. And Bruce always told told me this. He said sometimes you just feel it. When you get in front of something great, you get you get a sense about it, and you, yes. you look at this and you're like, wow, this is the best. That's what. When I stand in front of that clock, that's exactly Me too, what because happens. sometimes people think of folk art as, uh, you know, it's hand done and it may not be, may not be perfect and may not be, look that great. It's just kind of cool. Yeah. But that is just wonderful all over. Yeah. It's it's well done and it's. And it's got mixed cool. woods throughout. It's got it's just the, the patina is is absolutely stunning. Um, and I, I would never touch that clock with anything. I mean, I just, it's, it's, oh, no. it's like, it's so, so beautiful. If, if, uh, yeah, if, if, if you had to describe an item in this catalog, that would be one to, uh, to say like the highlight of the collection, um, without doubt, that would be at least my top pick or top two picks. Well, there's also, there's so many great the, things. There's but, also the Shively cupboard. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. So let's talk about the other great, great, great thing in this house. And, uh, this Shively cupboard, what was interesting is my wife went to a museum down in Dayton two weeks ago with our daughter. Uh, she had to go down there for school. She's in Wright State and they go in there and they see this Shively cupboard in the museum. And my wife was telling Kaylin, yeah, we, uh, you guys have one. Mm -hmm. And she's like, really? They got that cupboard? So let's introduce the Shively cupboard. I will show them the picture. Oh, it um, oh, it's the first, first day, right? Oh, here it is. What page you got? Here it is. Oh, there it is. Yeah, the whole I side. I put my glasses on to see that. Page 21. Let me get to it. Please. Uh, yeah, page 20, 20, 23. Or 23. Page 23. Okay. This, first off, is the Shively cupboard that we're talking about. This is absolutely stunning. I'm just going to show it to you for a second right here. Um, here's the description. Here's the lot. And uh, Vivlin, the sofa. So, so I will let you talk about Christian Shively. You know way more about Christian Shively than I do. Well, he was a Montgomery County cabinet maker. Montgomery um, County, Ohio cabinet maker. Yes, yep. and he um, he was just an exceptional um, craftsman. He made these Shively cupboards for his children, um, one for each child. I think there were seven kids, and they and when. Six of them are documented. They know where they are. The seventh one, I think, um, no one knows. So, so there's um, still one out there. <laughs> yeah, six, maybe. six have been found. <laughs> maybe. Uh, but, uh -huh. but uh, yeah, man, maybe there's, maybe it's not. You know, I mean, I mean, maybe it's destroyed too. You know, it's it's so old. Yeah, but these are very distinctive cupboards. Most of his, <laughs> most of his cupboards um, have these. OG feet mm -hmm. and it's a it's a Dutch Dutch cupboard so there's like a big open pie shelf between the top and the base 
and uh, this cupboard also has the original glass in it, so yeah. it's really special. Um, the hardware, it, some of it is replaced, um, but that was common uh, among all these Shibleys. Um, but this is probably the best example of all the Shibleys that I have seen. Um, it has just, it has everything. Um, these grand moldings and um, the, all the cartouches, the raised panels, there's a separate raised center raised panel in the base that you don't see in some of the cupboards yeah um, it's just it's just wonderful that top um, sits down on the base and then you open the door of the base and underneath you you pin the top yeah and, that, and that's, the base. that's so it distinctive like of, of him right like yeah. that yeah like so that she's describing what, how those two pieces go together and they're pinned underneath and that was like his trademark for these covers one of them one of them yeah one of them, w one of them. yeah the other is just is the the way that it looks yeah um, all those little details it's just uh an outs Outstanding cupboard. Outstanding cupboard. Um, and then, so the, so they have it as a cherry and po mixed poplar in the back. And, and, mm -hmm. and again, when you stand in front of this, uh, this cupboard, you, you, the great pieces that you ever come across, whether it's in a museum or in a house or, or for sale anywhere, you know they're great when you're in front of them. And this cupboard is the exact same as this clock. Uh, you stand in front of it and you're just absolutely impressed with the detailing. Um, the lines on this thing, the, the, from the from the crown all the way through the feet, this cover you can just stand there and appreciate it for hours. It's an absolute stunning cabinet. So stunning that the, the, as they are, you know, I mean, the museum down in Dayton has one as their feature, their feature in the museum, the Shively cover, yeah. one of only seven yeah. uh, to um, be known to be built. Elmer Webster is the one who, a man who donated the cover to the Dayton Art Museum. Dayton Art Museum, uh -huh. yeah. And, and he also, um, it's the person that Bruce bought this cupboard from out of his house. Um, he had, Bruce said, this was during the gold rush. And I can't remember if it was uh, 79 or 80. Okay. Um, and uh, he had some extra money. <laughs> and because he had a little extra money, <laughs> he decided to go down and see if Elmer would sell in that cupboard. And uh, he, they talked about it and finally uh, came to a decision. Um, and Bruce bought it, but I mean, he has loved that cupboard. Um, he loved it. It was his favorite thing in the whole house, and uh, yeah, he thought it was outstanding. And Bruce has Bruce had an absolutely great eye for beauty and good good things and good quality, well made things. Yeah. It just it's stunning. So I just want to show you. I know, isn't that great? I don't want to show them that. I want to buy that one. <laughs> I'm switching that page. Yeah, <laughs> this is awesome. This is the great. This is a great piece right here. This is uh, a what? It's a, actually a hand drawn. Um, Tremont City Directory, and it's just got the greatest advertisement in this thing. Uh, it's it's big too. Like this is a what's the size yeah, of it? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it's like 19 and a half, 25 by 19 and a half. So it's a big piece, um, and. <laughs> Tremont City is a. If you don't familiar, if not familiar where that's at, that's only about what, twenty miles from here, less maybe less. Yeah, it's in Clark County. It's in Clark County. It's, North, it's really uh, close. Western Clark County. Uh, and this is this is just incredible. I've never seen another example of anything like this with that kind of detailing. Um, it's, it's really sweet. <laughs> it is so that, sweet. That that hung in the train station. Um, it was j just outside of Tremont City, uh, where the railroad tracks cross uh, Upper Valley Pike, and. Um, they had torn that's not where we got that because they had already torn it down um, years and years ago but from that from the foundation of that building um, that's where we got the stone for the walls in our, at our house we had all these oh really walls. from the from the railway in Tremont yeah okay from that station from that station that is yeah. so cool we had to go dig them out <laughs> <laughs> To dig them out. And dig them out, and uh, you, uh, yeah, fun. yeah, that was quite a thing too. So, so Vivian, there's I, another one of those um, directories in the sale. Oh, and, is there another? Yeah, one? it's um, from South Vienna, Ohio. Okay. So it's uh, it's the Little Bird just down the road here on Route 40 toward Columbus. Um, 
and, and it's hand done too and it's it's very it's very cool also and and similar size so i i would like to just just talk a little bit about some of your small items because you've got the greatest collection of uh, folk art smalls i think that's been on the auction block in in 50 years for as a collection i mean i, I want you guys to understand uh, this collection that is selling is probably the only time in my lifetime or in our lifetime that we're going to be able to witness uh, a great collection in its purest form sell. Um, Bruce, Bruce collected purity, uh, he, he collected rarity, uh, and he had an incredible eye, and he, he had the ability to be able to, to, to put all these items together to curate this collection over his entire life. Um, and, and after Bruce had passed, um, one of the things I think that, that you guys wanted to have happen was a really good printed catalog. Um, and this catalog, like it is amazing when you're looking through this and you can go online and see all of the same stuff, but I mean, this, yeah, there is pictured so many incredible pieces. Like there's, there's any, any three or four pieces in this catalog would be like a highlight of any auction right now going on in the country. And there's like a thousand pieces selling on January the 5th and 6th from this collection. One of the things though, Vivlin, I know that you, uh, you helped collect and, and, and you, know, you really liked was the mocha. Can you, yeah. can you talk a little bit about some of the mocha and, yeah. and uh, where you got it from? And I'll find it in here for you. Well, one example of the mocha that oh, that's the cool. best one <laughs> is this picture. Um, that is, that is an Ohio piece, I believe. Um, but it's, it also has been made in uh, Europe, but mainly in England. Um, it's called mocha because on the decoration, there's always this dark brown of some kind on it. And they made that dark brown from like tobacco and, and things like that. <laughs> so that's how, yeah, so, so, so bad things were, were mixed into the paint or the color yeah, to, to get the color. Yeah, to make the color just right. <laughs> kind of like a Van Gogh. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, but it, they, uh, it was actually country wear. Country so wear. It wasn't anything that like the kings and queens would have. Nothing like yeah, that. Was, it was all country oh, stuff, and it was it's just beautiful because it's decorated in in uh, certain so certain ways. Examples. Most of them are going to be swirly things, or there's a, a cat's eye kind of a decoration. Um, the swirly, sometimes we call it earthworm. Um, the colors are are usually uh, browns and greens and. Uh, like a pumpkin color, um, a rust color, um, but I particularly like the blue, and uh, there aren't that many blue examples, but I, that's what I liked. So I bought a lot of them that had blue in them, even uh, down to little pepper pots. Um, they look like little shakers, like a little salt shaker, but they're so sweet. But the decoration on them is just so fun. It's, it's, a, it's a country art form, and I, I just loved it. And I tried to buy pieces that were perfect. Yeah. Um, there might occasionally be a little, a small little, like crow's foot or something, but most of them are, are really nice. Um, yeah. But I just love them. I had them on top of my cupboards. Um, the kitchen cupboards, all these pictures, and oh, it looks so gorgeous. Yeah, I loved it. it. it, it and okay, so uh, the same. So in her kitchen, Vivlin had had all these all over, and then also this incredible collection of bottles, early American, uh, Zanesville to you know, Pittsburgh bottles, and like you have just the best. Oh, one of the Zanesville swirls that we have is the biggest I've ever seen. It's it's uh, bigger than the rest, and it has uh, it's it's a globular one, but it's. It's so round and it's so big and beautiful. We bought it at Garth's um, years ago and uh, that sat right in the middle of all the other ones because it was, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's, it's stunning, stunning, yeah, stunning. It's amber, an amber and amber swirl. What, what's really cool about this collection, guys, is, is you're gonna find, uh, I mean, soft paste, you're gonna find mocha, you're gonna find a butter butter prints and, and butter molds. I mean, some oh, some of the really best, good. Like the, the rarest I've ever seen. Like football butter prints and uh, yeah, just, uh, all kinds of things. Uh, really, golly, um, there was some a, Welsh love let me find spoons them here. that are just beautiful. I mean, just page after page. There's two cigar store uh, Indians in here. This is one of two uh, that was in their collection. Uh, so uh, the reason I'm just pointing out some of these highlights because I'm, I'm asking all of you to at least go on to the website and to preview this auction. 
you're not going to get another opportunity like this, uh, maybe, maybe never uh, again, to see such great folk art from beginning to end in an entire auction. Um, and we, I mean, we obviously, we bought the Antique Center from Vivlin and Bruce. They were kind enough to sell it to us and, and we've traveled the world together. Um, yeah, on our other YouTube channel at Burner Brother Antiques, I'm gonna to talk to Vivlin some more about some of those stories and some of the stuff in this catalog that, uh, that I was there and around. So if you're watching this, you wanna see some more about this auction coming up and about our discussion, you have to go to at Burner Brother Antiques and we're gonna continue this on, in the, on, on our other channel.